Hello husband friends, welcome back to another new video. So I know I haven't been posting, there is currently a lot going on personally and also in the world. It's literally crazy, I'm not gonna get into it because I don't want the channel to be political, but I hope everyone's doing okay. But anywho, as you guys can see by the title of this video, I'm going to be propagating my fellow children, my kids. One, because it's an easy video to film and two, I've been wanting to do more. I've already propagated like a bunch of these, so I know kind of what I'm doing. Yeah, I literally, majority of the time I propagate it. Honestly, I just take like a, oh, well, by the way, um, if you're new, hi, my name is David. Welcome to the channel. Um, it's all plant related. But the way that I propagate my philodendrons, specifically my philodendrons, also my pothos, is by nodes. And if you don't know what a node is, it looks like a shoulder basically. So this is a leaf and then this is the stem as you guys can see. And usually you'll see like uh, like some roots in the bottom, like a little... On the bottom of the leaf, you will see like a node. And usually that's where the roots develop. Now, um, that's basically that. Uh, and also, if, you, if that was a really bad explanation, there's a lot of videos on YouTube. And also, there's some really cool diagrams on Google that I don't want to put in the video because I don't want to get copyrighted. I need to get permission for that. But there's a lot of great info out there if you want to get more information about that. So, like I said, I have propagated this plant already a lot. And she has grown a lot as well. A little story that we can talk about. Well, I guess... Okay, so... I guess let's just get into it. So my supplies that I have right now is some Spanish sphagnum, sorry, sphagnum moss that I got from Lowe's. I, I'm going to try to find some links that are the same product on Amazon. So if you guys want to go and check those out and possibly get it as well on Amazon, I will try my best to like link them down below in the description box. So I have this and I do have a bowl. This is a bowl that no, it, it's from the kitchen, but nobody really uses it. And even then I'm also going to disinfect it with bleach um, because yeah. <laughs> and also i got some scissors oh and oh my god i am so rude my cat is literally right behind me she is so adorable she is super cute her name is nico um we called her i forgot her name that we we're calling her but it's we were gonna change it but when we adopted her her old name or her name by the papers is, is nico so we just it just stuck with us um we used to call her snowball and like a lot of other cute names <laughs> basic names but we just ended up calling we just called her nico she's super cute she's eight years old by the way so going to be eight she's seven right now so yes we have this i also got some tijeras some scissors and also by the way you could disinfect it with rubbing alcohol i or wash it to like get it disinfected i rarely ever do that with my plants i have literally in all honesty have never disinfected my scissors so i'm not gonna do it like on this plant because i've done it so many times already and yeah so yeah unless you know like it was like in like dirty like in the soil while it's like collecting rust and i would recommend it to clean it so these are just basic scissors that i have in our in the kitchen not for like you know eating we just have like a countertop it's, it's like a countertop we have like a little like shelf we put like a lot of random stuff like tape and stuff like that and we just have scissors um the next thing is by the way this is from dollar tree if you have a dollar tree in your area uh i'm not no you can just use any other box this is the way i'm going to propagate it is called the propagation moss box method probably pronounced it incorrectly but basically is you getting a box and making sure the top is transparent to get some light or at least you know it, it could be like let me show you my, my actual propagation box or like this as long as like light can get in then you're perfectly fine i was making another box and it had a lot of holes in it i didn't make it it would come with a lot of holes and i noticed that they were not propagating as fast as these and as you guys can see it's really really humid in here um which is basically the goal it's like a little mini greenhouse which helps to propagate a lot faster especially if you give it a lot of bright indirect lights and it is a little bit warm inside your plants are gonna root like crazy so this is what i got from dollar tree they're like small little greenhouses they're super cute they're to like start your own like um gardening seeds for like vegetable seeds but i thought this is like perfect to propagate cuttings and this is just i don't know it's just it's so cute like it's just it's so cute it's like a little greenhouse okay <laughs> and we're gonna use this it was a dollar i think it was a two pack i um, i'm not sure if it was a two pack or if it was just one but anyway that is still a good deal i think it is so yeah we have this and then we have our plant that we're gonna propagate which by the way it is called the pheasant micans now like i said i ended up buying i mean buying. well i bought this plant from river gardens it is one of my local nurseries that we do a lot of plant shopping um and we always try to go there i try to but it's just it's a pain in the butt to go over there uh because it's really really far and the traffic is insane but i got it over there it was like in a two inch pot and i paid like 7.99 for it it was it was not this big it was oh sorry it was only like three or like i think it was like five leaves max it had it was very very small and it has grown like crazy in the growing season and even then it is still growing so i'm so proud of her and i ended up repotting her in this bigger 
bigger pot than it was in because when it, it was in a 2.5 inch pot and i put in this one i think this was like a a three inch pot a 3.5 possibly a four inch pot but i am possibly gonna go and repot it again in the spring so it can you know just be more happier so also let me show you like the way i do it i hope this, like, this is really good um you guys can see this is a leaf that we're gonna propagate in and by the way they're just it's so stunning and i love like the way the sun hits the leaves when you look behind the leaf it looks so beautiful it's like glowing um but anywho and let me show you the air roots that's usually i think these are called air roots the little root that you see and also that's like the same section that's called a node again i am not uh like an expert on house plants i really wish i was i learn something every single day with this i'm always learning and like i said i'm not an expert but I, I have done this before which is why i'm doing this video because i have done this successfully multiple times but i am not an expert i don't know every scientific name of the plants i just know that i love and i'm obsessed with plants and this is something that i have succeeded on so you're gonna end up cutting it over here because I mean, <laughs> i'm like trying my best so you guys can like understand um because the last thing that i want to do is like confuse y'all but this is like i said the stem this is the nodes right over here and this is the leaves and you i like i said i propagate by nodes because every time you do it this will be a new plant all by itself usually i don't like leaving this much space but i'm gonna like leave it a little bit i try to go for like an inch in size as you guys can see um and yeah this is literally perfect and we're gonna place it in the greenhouse like that it's gonna be super cute and i will show you guys some of my my cuttings that i've done i'm propagating some in soil and i'm also propagating in spike the moss so that's really really fun and another way that I want to talk about is like, oh my god, the stem is also like really red. It's so pretty. A lot of people, when they propagate plants, they tend to like just cut it from here, like over here with all of these leaves and nodes, and they just pop it in water or in sphagnum moss or in soil, whatever you want to propagate on, and it's just one plant. That is perfectly fine. Like if you want to propagate it that way, that's okay. But for me, I want to get more bang for my buck, and I also want to get more plants for free. So, and I know that when you propagate by nodes, you can literally instead of cutting it and making it one plant you can have one two three four plants in one stem which is literally amazing like you can have one for yourself you can give them away you can sell them also to get your money back it's just amazing we love propagating so on this plant i'm gonna cut it like i said i already cut this stem before and i kind of feel bad but yet again i don't um because <laughs> like it's just gross like crazy and that's the beauty about philodendrons and i think pothos too whenever you give them a haircut um when i say haircut i mean like cutting, like you know cutting leaves and the stems when you cut the stems it promotes more growth on top so for example if the top of the plant is very bold like no leaves um uh, give it a haircut and propagate those cuttings and it will flush out new growth usually majority of the time it will flush out a lot of growth on top and it gives it a more bushier healthier look if you're going for that i also know that some people love to like they love like the stringy look like a lot of it's just like a very long stem with small leaves they like that and it, i think it's really really cute too um it's cute but i also i don't i, don't, I like my plants to be really really bushy as possible <laughs> here's another cute plant oh. and by the way i like i said i have already sold a lot of the cuttings that i have done um usually i saw them whenever i see um new roots already not new roots. i can't really look at the roots i can't if i want to but i usually saw them when i see new leaves popping up and i had the plants like i don't sell my cuttings i mean also i do i have sold cuttings like bare raw cuttings to people um but i also have sold them with roots and with a lot of growth and it's just i also gifted some away to like a really sweet lady um a little bit of me was like i mean let's not lie okay a little bit of me because it was my first propagations and i was like it's my babies but also like she was so excited and it was one of her wish list plants and i was like girl take it like oh my god like if you know like i don't know i just like giving things away so we're gonna cut over here again to get another new plant so this is already three nodes that i'm gonna do here's another one and then we're gonna do see like for example let me show you okay so usually when you put it over here see how long this is um that's i don't know if it does any difference but i don't like it that long so like i said i try to go oh that, that, that was not a clean cut i try to go for a very um like for like one inch only like that i don't know my measurements but like the size of my nail does that make sense okay um but yeah this is great here's another one that's a little bit like longer the leaf is a little bit damaged and i'm gonna show you that that doesn't really matter now it might like you know lower the rates of it actually propagating successfully but it doesn't hurt you know to like propagate it and also 
Yeah, so like, why not? Okay, so my goal was to have four cuttings in each little greenhouse, and I have two little mini greenhouses. They're so adorable. And by the way, it's good to have your sphagnum moss. It should have been the first step. <laughs> it's good to have your sphagnum moss soaked in water before you just put it in there dry. You want to soak it in water. I really this is a, it's not a really like a diva like a fuzzy plant it does i don't really think it cares about like what type of water you use i just use basic tap water it's not like a calanthia that only needs like fish tank water or like distilled water doesn't really mind it so i'm just using regular um tap water but be careful because some plants are very delicate and do not like you know the minerals and all that stuff that's in our tap um this one i could cut it and i don't like how long it is I want it to be more bushy, which is why I'm doing it the way I am. Because um, I have propagated and it has also released on a, on like two more new stems. And I am seeing more growth on top. I'm not sure it's going to pick it up, but it's this little small little pokey thing. That's a new leaf that's unfurling. And it's going to just give it a more cuter look. Now, how many do I have? I have one. Let me show you. I have one right there. Here is another one. Just some stems. I heard people you can propagate this, but I feel like you need to have like some nodes and like a stem. It doesn't need to have leaves. So I'm gonna like toss these away. But if you saw a node and one of these, propagate it. Especially in sphagnum moss, if you do like this method, propagate it, you will see some leaves coming through. Um, so we have already three, three, four, five, and six. And I don't really want to cut the plant. It makes me happy the way it looks. Um, I don't want it to be too short. I can cut it and I'm not also like I said this is not really my vibe but also when I do repot it I'm literally debating if I want to put it in a, in a in a moss pole um in the spring so I might just keep this I'm gonna see how, how I feel about it so I guess I'm not gonna do four nodes in a small little greenhouse I'm possibly possibly just gonna do three and the reason why I could put all of them in one greenhouse and like use another one to propagate more plants but I want all of them to get like a good amount of light I want them to like get everything that they need and just just do their thing so the next step we already have our cuttings let's push this to the side we're gonna get our greenhouse this might get a little bit messy our little containers um we just gonna get our sphagnum moss and that's literally it i just love the way it looks it's just uh it's so cute <laughs> i don't know i'm so basic okay I'm gonna squeeze it it has like a Mm, it doesn't smell bad. It smells like wood and water, but I feel like that's like a scent, like oat. I don't know. It's not a bad smell. I'm not mad at it. Do I want it in my house in my clothing? No, but I guess it just smells like nature, like a forest. Which, by the way, wouldn't that be like so fun if like you live like in a forest, you can just get your own like moss just in your backyard? Oh my god, literally goals. I guess we can talk a little bit. So. Um, the reason I haven't been posting, like I said, I've been busy and also what's going on, but the reason why I'm busy is some personal things. But one exciting thing that might happen is, I talked about it, I talked about it before on my channel, that I was getting, um, my boyfriend and I were going to move into new apartments. And we were going to do it, but we were not, we were, we were not, we were like so, I was very undecisive. But I made up my mind, I was like, I do need like my own place to focus, I love my family, but at the same time, like, I work at home and I need my privacy and my space and a lot of other stuff <laughs> anywho we ended up applying to this really beautiful apartments it is three bedrooms two bathrooms it is amazing it is gorgeous i love it nine feet ceilings it has 11 windows i thought it's literally insane and i'm gonna have my own plant room it has four windows which is literally amazing <laughs> um we already did all the paperwork we did all that all we're waiting for is a call and i'm crossing my fingers i'm praying i'm doing everything that we get it because i i feel like we're all gonna get it but still, like, I'm just doing everything that I can. Because <laughs> my boyfriend and we have really good credit. And everything was great. She said, like, we do qualify and everything was just great. Now we're just waiting for the approval of, like, the owners of the apartments. I think that's how it works. My boyfriend and we already had our own apartments. And then we moved into this rental home. And I'm not, can't, I can't say too much details because I don't know. I don't, know. I don't think you guys are here for that. But, yeah. So, long story short, I might get a new place. And I think that would be a really exciting I'm already placing the, the nodes in here, by the way. Um, you could just place this entire thing just right there, but I like to like dig it in a little bit so it can like, the 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 node can like contact with the spangler moss, whatever, uh, the thingy. Just, I don't know, I just like to be extra. Um, but you could just like place it in here. Let me show you one way. You can just place it like this, placing um, the leaves up so they can get, you know, some light. Uh, and that's literally it. You can just cover it. 
Honestly, oh, it could be an experiment. Mm. Do I want to experiment with my cuttings? I don't know if I want to experiment. Because I know this way is just, it makes me feel better. So you can just leave it like that and then you close it and then you place it in a bright and direct light in a spot um, and just check on it. And if it gets too cloudy, I mean, usually you don't need to make like holes on top because it will develop mold in it. Like, you know, it's really humid in there and it's warm. But if you're always checking on it, on it like every other day or every single day, I check on mine like every single three days and that's enough to get fresh air. I haven't noticed any molds, any problems, and a lot of other people haven't either. But obviously if you live there like in a week or more and it's getting like a lot of light and it's really warm inside and really humid, it will develop mold and it will rot your cuttings. But if you want, you could make a couple holes. Don't make too many because you do want to retain a good amount of humidity inside. Um, but yeah, so we're really, really excited. I'm really excited to move in. And I, like I said, I, it's, it will be really interesting to like move. I don't even know how many plants I have. I will be doing a house plant tour very soon. I just need to count how many plants I have and I'm starting to film the video. I think because I have given a lot away. I have sold a good amount as well because I, I had to wait to me to like duplicates and propagations um so yeah and also i have killed some because the greenhouse happens and i don't know if i made a video <laughs> you guys want me to like explain what happened to the greenhouse it wasn't my fault this time okay <laughs> but yeah so a lot of plants got ended up like not so good they didn't made it some are outside to recover um not, it's not even that some are just outside because i'm just scared they have pests or something inside um and i don't want to like you know affect my other ones that are perfectly fine so there's just like a lot going on with my plants as well but it's, it's it's fine everything's fine i'm healthy i can walk i have two hands that work my family is healthy they're fine they're safe and that's all that matters to me to be honest but but have mercy uh, I'm, i don't know how what's gonna happen when you know like <laughs> when it's time to move i'm probably gonna hire like like movers to help me like not to like just i don't know i really don't know yet we're gonna see i'll keep you guys updated what's gonna happen um for sure but okay we're literally done this video has been a little bit long hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat with me if you did let me know because this was so much fun i love talking to you guys and just doing plant stuff um but this was literally it i hope you guys learned something i hope you guys if not i don't know <laughs> i hope you guys were entertained by this uh, if you do propagate something, tag me on Instagram. I really want to see what you guys are propagating. That would be so much fun. Um, but yeah, I'll, I guess I will keep you guys updated on Instagram if you guys want to go and follow me. You guys can go and I do a lot of plant stuff all that too. <laughs> but I will possibly make another video, like a one week update or a two weeks update and keep you guys updated on how they're doing. And then I will do also every potting video, transferring from mm, sphagnum moss to actual soil. Um, I can't even like pronounce my s's anymore like i can't even talk soil what the hell i mean, I mean soil um talking about soil i need to buy more i need to go to lowe's plant shopping um to buy more soil because i'm out of it and i need more because some of these plants have some propagations that actually need uh you know to get reported asap which by the way this video has gone in really long i'm possibly gonna do another separate video on what i'm propagating my, in my propagation box method and some updates um um, there's just more roots i'm possibly not because it's the same stuff there's just more roots inside but that's basically it i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please let me know by giving a big thumbs up and let me in the comment section below if you guys are propagating something because like i'm really curious and i'll see you guys on the next one bye